everybody. How are you? Um, I want to tell you about Stamp Camp. I went to Stamp Camp on Friday, Saturday, and I came back yesterday, which was Sunday. It's a stamping up camp. Um, there was like 45, 50 women that get together in a hotel for two nights, three days, and we stamp away. Um, the three girls that run it, they put a heck of a lot of work into this. I mean, demos and crafts and demos and cards and it's, it was just nonstop. By the time we were done with all our demos, I felt like I had so much homework to do. So I want to share with you some of the things that we made, that I won, that they gave us. It was, it was, it was fun. It really and truly was. This was the first time I went. And like I said, the three girls that put this together, oh my God, the work that went into this camp, you, you can't imagine. So it was th th two nights in the hotel, food, drinks, um, you know, you're up until midnight, two o'clock in the morning, then you're back up for breakfast at seven, and then classes start at 8.30. When I tell you I got home last night and my husband's like, you wanna watch TV? And I'm like, no, I just wanna go to bed. <laughs> But I'm going to start with my favorite from the weekend. I actually have a couple of favorites, I'm going to be honest. Look at this. Do you see this? It's a wreath. I really enjoyed making this. This was so therapeutic and fun to make. This is made out of a Doris ring. So it's just a small little ring. Um, let me get my ruler right here. I think I might have to do a, a tutorial on this. It's like an eight inch ring. And then you cut these out, you fishtail the bottoms, and then you fold them over each ring. And you to use a double-sided paper. And then we stamp this out on the square piece of paper that fits perfectly in there. And then we added one of the punches, the daisy punch. But look at how cute this craft is. Look at that. Is that not adorable? So this goes down as, I think, my favorite. My favorite. So I'm gonna put this to the side so I don't ruin it. I love it. Sorry, I just gotta find a spot so that it stays flat. Okay. Next is, um, let's do this one. So they kept giving us out things, and this was, look at how cute this was. It's a bottle of um, the Tombow. It says, do something creative every day. Isn't that adorable? This is one of the giveaways that they gave everyone. How cute, right? Then, um, I think it was Saturday night when we sat down for dinner. They actually made it candlelight dinner. And I'm gonna turn on the little lamp. So they had one of these little tea lights in there and Look at that. This is what it says. Wine improves with, a improves with age. We improve with wine. And this was sitting at each one of our seats. How cute is that? It was printed on vellum, and then they fussy cutted the wine, and they stamped the little card. It says, may your glass always be half full. So this was sitting at our table at dinner time. So this was a little takeaway for us also. Love it. It was so much fun. Okay, this year, I'm gonna do a tutorial on this. This card was amazing. Look at this card, right? So you stamp it out, you make the belly band, and you go to open it up. Check this out. Ready, 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 ready? Look. Look at that card. Is that not adorable? So it can, it can be a happy birth card, a wedding, congratulations. And the secret message is behind almost like the camera lens. Don't you just love that? Such an interactive card. Okay, so I think this goes down as my second favorite. Second favorite. Okay, some of them I did not finish, but I want to share them with you anyway. Okay, but this one I did finish. This here, is embossed. So the white is embossed 
And then the back is just, um, it's just inked. And then you wipe it off and this is the look that you get. So then we, it, look at this, this is inlaid. Do you see that? So out of both the silver, a silver piece, and then the photocopy paper, because that's photo paper. This is photo paper. You cut it out and then you get double. So it actually, the silver inlays into the photo card. Isn't that adorable? And then this was the extra. So the photo that we cut out, and then this was the silver piece that I cut out so that they go into one another. So not only do I get to use this for a card, I kept the other half and I'll use this. And I just laid this in here real quick. How cute is that? Love this. Love this one too. Okay, then this was another giveaway that they gave us, which I, I truly love. Little package of cappuccino in a little belly band. And look at the little chocolate spoon to swirl your coffee with. Look at that. Isn't that great? What a great teacher's gift or bus driver gift. Gotta love that one. Gotta love that one. All right, now this one. Okay. I thought this one was sweet. This is just a bag folded over and embossed. And of course, punched and stamped. And then there's two slots. So let me see what I could slide in there. Um, I don't have a card. Oh, you know what? I have my room key still. <laughs> so pretend this is a gift card, okay? And this is the gift card holder. Your gift card will go in here, how cute, and then your card is back there. Is that not adorable? I think I have a couple of tutorials to do. Love that one too. All right. Then at the end, there were some giveaways. So this was one of the giveaways I got, and it tells you to take this piece of acetate and emboss it, and then wrap it around your candle, and you have... Uh, a beautiful DIY candle. So I'll be working on that probably this week. Then they give out some of the products that we've used throughout the weekend so that we can reuse it. So I got some sponges, some um, tear and tape, you know, uh, double-sided tape. I got that. Um, then they give us this here. This is really cute. This is like an on your own package. So if you have some downtime and you bring your cropping stuff and you, you know, you have a lot of downtime for open stamping. But look at this, they gave us this. This is adorable. Ah, if I can get it out. Look at all of these journaling cards. Look at this. This whole box of journaling cards. Love it. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to do this. I think this is going to have to go into one of those um, accordion albums. Those little cute ones. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Together is better. I mean, these are front and back. This one here, look at that. It's acetate. That's acetate. This one's acetate. Look at that. Look at this one. Wait till you see this one. This one is die cut. It says memories smile. So many great stuff. So they gave us this for our downtime. I don't want to ruin that. Okay, fix that. Yeah, I like to keep my stuff a little neat. So they gave us that. And then they gave us this. They gave us some extra paper in case we didn't bring our own. They gave us some whisper white, pinks, blacks. So they gave us some extra paper to use. And then they gave us the actual directions for every craft we did. Love that, love that. I'll stick this in here. Okay. Wait, there's more. This craft I didn't get to do because I wound up waking up with a headache. But... It was, um, it was almost like a, uh, 
Oh, what's the word I want to look for? He used the embossing paint on on it. It was um, almost like a 3D project. You layer things, and you, it was just my headache was so bad I couldn't even do it. But so this is a project I might be able to get to do and show you all. So even if you don't get to do the project, you come home with the project kit. They gave us this also. This is one of the gifts that they gave us. And it's a package of baby wipes. How cute is that? Because you know when you're stamping, you always got to wipe your hands. So that was another giveaway. Oh, this is what they gave us at the end. Okay, it says J. And it says, J is for the joy of having you here this weekend. J, join us again next year. Isn't that adorable? So cute, so, so cute. Okay, another one of my favorites. Check this out. You know why it's my favorite? Actually, I have my glue out, my glue gun, because some of my glue wasn't, my tape wasn't sticking. And now I'll get it to stick because I have the hot glue gun. Okay, so you all know how I love my boxes. Love to make boxes. It's so funny. There's people that love to make boxes, and then there's people that don't want to make a box at all. And I guess sometimes when you're crafting and you're making a card, card doesn't go with a box. But for me, this was this was uh, right up my alley. Okay, check this out. Uh, let's see. Look at this. It's a box card. Your little box sits in the trifold. Look at that of the card. I wish I could show you. So anyways, look at that. See that? Isn't it looks like a chimney coming out of a house, right? So when you give it a card, I mean, you can't mail this, but if you're going to a party or something, you can stick a little gift inside of that. Isn't that adorable? Love this one. Love, 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 love. Okay. Then this here was um, just something that was wrapped around one of our gifts. I don't, Honestly, I don't remember which one. And it says, treat yourself. Oh, this was in a cookie. That's why there's no gift. It was a cookie. <laughs> We ate it. That's right. Okay. So then this here is really cute. And look at this. Mm, and I don't have a picture. This is a cute little picture frame that has an easel back. So when you crease that down. Oh, I did it. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. All right. Hold on. Look at that. It stands up. So it's got an easel back. And then you take a picture. Oh, I have a picture. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. Uh, um, okay. I can actually do this real quick. Don't go nowhere. Let me do this. This is fun. All right, so I will cut me out of this picture because it's my granddaughter's. Actually, I'll be in it a little. Okay, so you take your picture. You slide it down. Oh, good, I'm not in it. Ah. Anyways, you find the right picture that will fit in it. And look at that. It becomes a picture frame. How cool is that? Love this one. Fun, 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 fun. Okay. Yay, stamp camp. All right, let me, let me glue this guy on because the, uh, that might work. Look at this, ready? Check this out. <gasps> Look at him! And he's holding um, a bottle of hand sa sanitizer. Isn't he adorable? Love him! Oh my god. Love it. Oh, wait till you see this one. Oh my god, there's so much to show you. Okay, please, don't go to work because they just get, get better. This is the box from Stamping Up. You can take any box you want. We embossed it. And there's multiple, I don't even have to open it because there's nothing in it. So look at this technique. Isn't that gorgeous? Don't you just love it? It's almost like antiqued. And it's, you know, the, the, the what do they call that? The silver, um, ah, I'm losing my mind. But embossed and then the amazing was cut out with the black background, but you take some embossing 
Um, all right, let me get my words out here. We take the Versamark. First we emboss it, then we take the, the Versamark and we just kind of rub it on. And then we throw the embossing powder on it. And we heat set it. And then we print it out or cut out of thinlets. Amazing. And it's multi-layered. But it gives it the look of punched metal. Isn't that cool? How great is that? Like, that's a great gift for a guy. That was fun. Um, this one was kind of not fun. I, I, sorry if the girls are watching it. I didn't love it. Um, because it takes a little working on. This was made with, oh, it's a new product that Snampin' Up! makes. And it's a powder and it, it sets with water. I forget what the heck they call it. But, I don't know. It's, it's, it's something that you really have to practice. And I just, it didn't float my boat. It probably looks pretty on camera, but to look at it, my colors all bled, so they just kind of just darkened. So for me, this was an epic fail. I, I would like to get better at it, but there's other things I love so much more. But it, it, some girls, they did a great job at it. Me, wasn't, wasn't my cup of tea. Now this was almost the same, done the same way with the splatter and the water, the water makes it um, interact. So I found this one to be very pretty. This is a nice card. And the way they did this was, it's a, it's a card and then they laid the back. How cute is that? So it gives the card another dimension. I really like the way this one came out. That one works for me, yay. Um, I didn't get to this craft, so I'm not even going to show it to you. Didn't get to that one. Not worth showing you because there's nothing to show. This one I, I brought home. I have to finish it. We actually embossed a butterfly on vellum. So that's embossed. And then we marked the back. And now I'm supposed to fussy cut that out. And then layer it onto, you know, a whitewashed. Then this gets layered, and then it gets layered on top of another card with a border. And all the colors are phenomenal. This one, this one looks like it's going to be fun to finish. Can't wait to finish that. Yay, got to finish that one. Um, okay, this one's really cool. This one's really cool. Didn't get to finish that. Also got another one, another giveaway. Didn't finish it, but watch this, okay? It's a card. And when you go to open this up, let me pull out my inserts, because it's not finished. Go to open it up, and look, it's a, it, it's a book. It, it truly looks like a book. Once these are on here, and you start layering them, and you put your sentiments on the inside, it looks like you opened up a book and then you close it and it's a card. So this one's going to be fun to finish. I can't, I can't wait to finish that one either. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, this is the, this paper, to look at it in the catalog, you go, oh, that's cute. But when you see it in person, oh. It's got knights, it's got um, wizards, it's got mermaids. Look at how cute that mermaid card is. And the washi tape that goes with it. Look at that. This is very cute paper. I didn't look twice at it in the book, but to see it in person, that was nice. Okay, then they gave us another giveaway. Look at how cute this giveaway is. So they, you open it up, and they gave us the mini dimensionals. Of course, we use them, but how cute is that gift? A gift of mini dimensionals. So that was nice of them. Love this one. Oh, wait till you see all this. Look at this. 
Sorry, I have it upside down. Okay, so it's the wood grain paper with the um, the embossing paste on the brick to give it the brick look. And then we die cut the leaves out. And then I know you, I don't know if you could see it, but look, we layered the, the mesh on top of it. How pretty is that? Love these leaves. Love them. So that was another one. And then one of the girls that ran it, this was one of her swaps. I didn't do a swap. I didn't have time this week, but she gave me one anyway. Thanks, Tracy, if you're listening. So look how cute that card is. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, okay, now this is the, no, there's two more projects. All right, this one I did not finish, so I want to show it to you because it's actually really cool. But look at this. When this is decorated, do you know how cool this is going to look? You open it up and all these will be decorated and the, the sentiment will be in there. And then it folds back up into itself. How pretty is that? And I don't know where that paper is. Huh. Oh, this is all the paper. Huh, okay. This is called the napkin fold, if you're wondering. I'll have to work on that. Okay, so now, mm, let me see where I put something. Um, hmm, give me one second. Ah, I know where it is. Okay. You've probably seen these at Ikea. So they gave these to us. And when you take out the center, it stands up. And what they had us do was this. These are fun. I, I really enjoyed this craft. So you take little binder rings and you'd hang them on here so that your paper falls into the middle. I might have to do a, a, a craft on that. So they had us do and look, they gave us some bling. Look at this. They gave us some bling in a package. How cute. Bling. Okay. So they had us do a monthly calendar or picture, whatever you want it to be. So I guess I didn't finish. This is for February. So it will hang on the rings and then hang on here. And you flip it over each month. March. Look at that. We embossed it. We added some bling. How cute. Right? April showers. Spring May flowers. Right? April showers. And that's sticking to the back. Look at that. How cute. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all these. We added some Wink Stella. Do you see how it glitters? Can you tell? Oh, this one, 4th of July. Isn't that awesome? Wouldn't that be a great, this would be a great t-shirt. Oh my God, love it. I did enjoy doing this. This was the baby wipe technique where you take your inks and you drop a little dot or two on a baby wipe and it becomes your ink pad so that you can mix colors and they look ice full. Um, this goes to another one. Look at how cute that came out. Can you see that? Look at the water, how we did that. And the sun has got wink of cell on it. Oh, there it is. See the glitter on the sun? And I think the water has some sparkle. Love that. This was supposed to be January's. It's supposed to look like snow blowing. Isn't that cool? These were extra pieces. This is supposed to be December with the wreath on the door. Um, like I said, there's supposed to be calendars on the bottom, little calendars, but that'll be cute. I'll add a couple more details to this one. Um, look at that. Let's see 
See how cute that is? And then this one is supposed to be finished. I have to finish coloring this in and then fussy cut it. And then it goes here. Isn't that sweet? Love it. We used the basket weave. So this was all from my um, stamping up little getaway. But I want to show you this one again. Oh, love this one. Look at that. Ready? Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope your weekend was as nice as mine. And uh, I will see you real soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.